Hey all, Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we're going to check out the top 5 most popular Super Expert levels of the week for the week of November 8th, 2021. So let's jump into it. Alright, coming in at number 5 is Skelos Wastelands by Spyro. I think this might have been in last week's video too, but let's just roll with it. I really like Spyro's levels, so, you know, it's, it's always fun to play a good level twice. Maybe I'll do better this time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this was in last week, so that's alright. That's actually kind of cool he's maintained a level in the top five like this. Okay, that's right. Oh yeah, okay, and then I need to jump that way. Okay, it's all coming back to me. So I, uh... Finally got my hair cut, as you can see, which is nice. It feels good to have shorter hair again. Um, also, right after I recovered from COVID, my fiancé got COVID, so I have not been able to record as much this week. So, we're just kind of waiting until she feels better. My recording area and office is right above the bedroom, so I don't want to disturb her when she's resting, and I've been trying to take care of her best I can. And returning to work, it's just, it's been crazy. Alright, here we go. Nice. Yeah, that's a great level. I totally can see how it's maintained a spot in the top five for two weeks in a row. Good job, Spyro. That is excellent, excellent level design. And it was fun to revisit, too. So I thought since number five was something we've already seen before, maybe we'd check out number six as well. This one's by SaucePow, dedicated to two playa. Now you're a man. Full hype. Uh, I'm just kind of curious about this. I can't hear that shot. Oh my gosh, I did it! All full jumps. You don't control anything. Um, the last jump is a doozy, let me tell you. But that was a really cool level, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this bonus level since we'd already seen number 5. But I'll still show number 5 today too, but you'll just get the top 6 instead. So, yay for bonus levels, let's move on. Coming in at number 4, we've got Parched Baron, hashtag Team Shell, by Red Yoshi. Desert is an arid land with usually sparse vegetation, but here is not. Okay. So another Red Yoshi Team Shell level. I've played quite a few of Red Yoshi's Team Shell levels, and they're usually pretty fun. Hey, look at that. We did the thing. Alright. That took a lot of focus, not gonna lie. And now I need to remember not to hit start over. I do not want to do that. Uh, whoops. Okay, cool. Did I jump twice there? Hey, look at that. That's the thing right there. That's what you want to see. 
Alright. A uh, very cool level, took a bit of concentration, and I am admittedly a little rusty because I've been playing a lot of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, I love Isaac, it's a great game, and yeah, so Repentance had an update come out, so I've been doing quite a bit of that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of it too. Coming in at number three, we've got Foxfire Mansion from Ramoon. Not a horribly low clear rate here either, so yeah, it should be a good time. Oh, it's a dark mode level. Which, that's actually pretty cool how they indicate where to go with the falling coins. Okay, I bet I need this. Um, okay, okay yep. Definitely, I see. I see what I'm doing here. Cool. Very cool. A good use of the dark mode. I'm guessing I need the shell. Oh yeah, I do. I need to throw it right there. Okay, cool. I was thinking like shell jump or something, but nope. I see it now. Hey, let's just die. Let's die right there. That's fine, right? Um, holy cow. That was pretty scary. Oh, look at that. And another checkpoint. Nice. Okay, I'm moving a little slow here. Um, okay. We're, we're doing okay. Uh, hello? What am I supposed to do there? Did I not have something I needed? Okay. Deeply focused here. Just want that, want to go over here, do this, throw that, into the pipe. You have plenty of time too if you just play your cards right there. Cool. That was a very neat level, I enjoyed that a lot. Super cool, well made, good use of dark mode, and nice indicators. Let's move on. Okay, so we've got Unknown Tightrope Walker. My first Kaizo, two checkpoints. Out of Japan. Japan's pretty popular in today's episode. We've got a couple. Couple so far. Wonder what number one will be. Okay. Gotta get these one ups for good luck. That wasn't very good luck, was it? That's okay. If you're short on your momentum, things will not work out. Holy cow. Yeah, alright, nice. It's a very cool section. Uh, I, I totally missed that, like, whiffed it hard, but I see what I need to do. I think I got this section down. A lot of big momentum pushes. That part you gotta watch your head. Yeah, that works. That was cool. Another checkpoint, here we go. Whoa. Whoa, am I supposed to go inside of that? I wasn't ready. This section here is why the level is so hard. Okay. And I mean, it's a pretty short section, but man, that was tough to get the feel for all those different setups. Really cool level, though. I liked that a lot. Super creative. Always nice to see a fun SMB Kaizo. Alright, and coming in at number one, we've got Il Curious Colorful Pipe Drama by Kaitoj. 
Cure, fix the pipes. It looks better, but it's not the same level anymore? Okay, okay. Hey, alright, look at that. That was actually a very easy to read section, so that went pretty quick. I like it. And of course, I gotta kill myself right into the, you know, Muncher and Goomba. Because that's just how I roll sometimes. Okay, I tried the quick minimum bounce, didn't really work. Hey, alright. Whoa. That I almost did not get. I wasn't quite ready for it, but it worked. And we got another checkpoint. Alright. Oh, shoot! Wow, I was on a roll. That was it. So I almost one-shotted that section. Just that tricky thwomp, man. Got me. Um, but yeah, that was also a very good level. I liked that a lot. Quite enjoyable. Great stuff. And on that note, I'm going to call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll throw these uh, level codes into the description for your viewing pleasure. Uh, thanks so much for sticking with me. I should be back to a more normal video schedule next week or so. So yeah, just give me some time. And also let me know if you'd like to see any Binding of Isaac. Uh, I might record some. It's a pretty fun game, but I don't know. I usually just like play it when I'm in bed, but if anyone wants to see me play it, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind making a video or two for it. So yeah, much love, good vibes, and I will see you all next time.